Namaste my beautiful people, it's a beautiful day. Astro Cordoba over here gonna talk about addictions and how I was able to release myself from the cannabis addiction. I'm gonna tell the story how it started, how when I wanted to quit and when I actually quit. And if you are watching this video and you want to quit smoking, I want to tell you that it is possible. You just have to have the determination and make the decision that you really want to quit it. And doesn't matter or where you are or how much have you smoked. It just it's a matter of changing your identity, changing temporarily or permanently the group of friends you surround yourself with and really seeing what's the meaning behind of smoking. So I'm going to tell you the story of how I started smoking. I was 16 years old. Uh, my parents were just getting divorced. And, and I didn't actually relate it back then, but I think it might have um, pushed me forward towards that. Um, but it's not their fault that I chose to start smoking. But anyways, I didn't have a lot of friends. I was never into drinking. I'm not a person who drinks so I was a healthy person I I'm just wanting now to release myself from sweets and trash food but that's the vices that I'm having at the moment and every everyone has attachments to a certain degree but cannabis became like a clutch to me and it stood out for a long time almost seven years eight years of smoking cannabis and I started small like maybe just smoking once every two weeks, every month. And then I started to smoke more and more Then it was weekly. Then it was every, every weekend. Then it was every single day. And I ended up smoking three times a day, every single day for periods of time. And even though I was able to achieve all the things that I have achieved, like graduating from college, graduating, getting a good degree, working with in various jobs and maintaining relationships. I was never in my full potential and I was never fully aware of what was happening around me. I was trying to numb myself from the situation, numbing myself of, of my inadequacies, if that's how it's called. <laughs> I don't know. But it, it was really painful and sobering up means getting to know yourself fully in a whole different spectrum and really trying to learn what are you missing in your life that the answers are inside of you, of course. But you have to really clear the smog screen and the literally smog screen that comes when you're smoking. So what are the benefits of smoking marijuana? Marijuana helps you dull, helps you release the stress, helps you um, really enjoy the food more and uh, have more pleasure in every single thing that you do. But actually that hinders your process to actually enjoy those things without marijuana so, or without cannabis. So what I wanted to do now is imagine my life in the best version possible and see if there was cannabis in that in that lifestyle and I realized it wasn't so when <laughs> when my mom caught my brothers and I when I was about 18 years old I made the decision to quit or it seemed that I'd made the decision to quit because I said I was gonna quit I stopped smoking for for weeks and then I came back to it and then I started I stopped smoking for a month and then I got back to it and every time I got back to it it was uh, much more intense and I started smoking much more and it was a vicious cycle for about 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and at February of this year 2021 I actually stopped smoking and what did actually help me stop smoking? It was about leverages. So what was the leverage for me to stop smoking? It can vary upon different people, but I put myself a leverage that was strong enough for me to decide not to quit. Because 
if the leverage was, uh, if I did smoke, the leverage was so hard that it would affect my family, it would affect my city, and it would affect even the country that I was living in. Because we were just reaching elections, and, and maybe you know about the country of Venezuela and how are the things being run by the government. And there was two options of actually be people being president. And I decided that if I smoked again, I was going to choose the president that would maybe put our whole country into danger. So this is kind of extreme, but that was my leverage and what, I, what, what my thought pattern was in order to make that decision to say like, okay, I'm not going to do this because this matters to me, this matters to my family, and this matters to proving myself that I can live without smoking. So after the elections, after the president that wasn't the communism, socialist style won, um, there wasn't the leverage. But I was strong enough, uh, like clean enough for a time period that I can say, okay, I won't smoke again. And this is the real, this is reality. I can smoke every day if I wanted to, but I'm choosing every single day not to smoke. And there are times where when things go wrong and you get stressed out and you say, okay, I want to smoke a little bit. But the moment that I return to that, it will be a cycle all over again and you lose momentum. So if you decide to stop smoking, it can be a decision that lasts forever or a decision that really changes your identity of who you are. So now I consider myself someone who doesn't smoke, someone who doesn't do those kinds of things because it's not in my highest um, intention and it's not aligned with the purpose that I'm trying to give into the world. So I hope this helps. This is my story. Every, every story ha is different, but I what do want to emphasize is learn why you're smoking Learn what happens when you're not smoking and what leverage could you put that would be so powerful for you to not smoke again. Namaste. I love you. Please share, subscribe, and let's learn about how to be the best version of ourselves together.